Hey everyone, Scott here. Uh, I just wanted to do a really quickie update on the car interior. Uh, uh, as you can see, it kind of got a lot of the wires and stuff in. Uh, they're kind of floating around at the moment. Uh, they'll be fastened down, all of them will be full fastened down and, um, you know, put in their place. Uh, the reason I kind of wanted to do a quickie update on this was because uh, my YouTube friend, uh, my my buddy that I'm doing this along with, uh, SteveTheFish.net, uh, I thought that depending on how far along he was with his DeLorean interior, that he might want to do something a little similar to this. So I just wanted to do a quick video on uh, you know where it is at the moment and uh, kind of how to do it for all the uh, you know all the other people out here wanting to wanting to know. If you haven't seen my previous video, I just have some uh, wire, really thin wire. This is actually from the inside of a, uh, a iPhone charger. Uh, there's like four, four of these. They're all the different colors and everything, so it's kind of perfect. Um, I just ripped that open and cannibalized that. Uh, and got the different colors, twisted them together. Um, I'll show you that process in a second. Now there's tons of wire here um, uh, from, I mean it's not accurate or, accurate or anything, but from my memory of the movie there was just a comedic amount of wires everywhere. Um, and I, re I really liked that, I thought it was pretty fitting to um, Christopher Lloyd's character as uh, uh, Doc Brown, um, so I just wanted to sort of mimic that in any way I could. Now I'm pretty happy with uh, the amount of wire obviously it's quite a bit, but I did want like a, a little bit, just just one more strand like it's intertwined like this one coming across the back because I'm pretty sure at the start of the second movie there was just there was heaps of wire back here so I just wanted to do one more and I just thought I'd show you exactly how I did that it's really really simple but whatever I've just got some red and white here I'm just looking at the colour palette I've got going so far and I haven't really used too much of these two colours yet so Pretty damn easy to twirl up. Uh, Ta-da! Now I kind of want these wires running over this uh, green and black one and sort of over here. You know, pretty simple line really. Uh, so I'm going to just, like Bob Cross, just make a decision. Uh, luckily, this uh, pin vice size is like the perfect size for... Uh, uh, these wires, uh, they only need a little bit of manipulation after you've drilled them. So I'm just going to drill a couple of these on either side and feed them through. And just get these last ones fed through. And there we go, there's our cool comedic uh, goes nowhere, does nothing, wire. And I hope at least a few of you get that joke. Oh yeah, we've also got some on the bottom here uh, going across. My plan is to have uh, on you know, the passenger seat a wire going over it, kind of a bit of visual interest when you look in the car. Uh, I'm just looking at the uh, decal sheet here and there are a lot of uh, a lot of different readouts here. And according to the instructions, the first one is number 14. Oh yeah, my thumb's covering it. There we go. So that will go there and 15 will be near. Oh yeah, seems good. What goes there though? What, what's the square one? 12. So I'm not sure. So number 12 is right here. So what, what are these for? Are they for different, the different versions of the car maybe? Maybe they're back to the future 2 version. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Got my uh, microsole out here. Just put a nice uh, coating on my decal. 
and on to the kit part and uh, rinse and repeat so I got my decals on uh, and kind of funny what happened when I was putting this uh, larger one on uh, right here it was uh, the first one stuck to the back of the carrier film for the larger one and pulled it away like a magic trick and I, <laughs> it didn't take me long to realize where the hell it was but uh, I got them on uh, the second one actually pulled up on my finger at one point. I mean, these are real small. They don't look small in the video, but they're pretty tiny. Uh, got them on in the end. I'm going to leave this section B for a day or so. And um, most likely put some uh, Humbrol Gloss Clear on there. Just to make sure everything is all sealed. Uh, right now I'm going to move on to uh, submit some detailed painting. I'm going to paint this thing silver and do a little bit of... A paintwork on this, and uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Right, that's the tub of the car pretty much complete. Um, the back firewall doesn't actually fit on the part like this, so it's just stuck in place just for show. Uh, what happens is the tub goes on the chassis, which goes into on you know underneath the body, and the firewall here actually attaches onto the back, so the two of them meet, or well, they're supposed to meet anyway. Pretty happy with how it turned out. I've got the you know the uh, steering wheel and stuff in there, and uh, all the wires are all tacked down. I just used some cheap uh, super glue for that. Uh, the only thing, the only thing remaining is just to put the decals on the uh, the time read the time time travel readout. Yeah, I think all the uh, the wires work pretty well. It looks kind of comedic in there. Uh, I quite like the look of the wires all tangled up and um, uh, you know I like that one coming along uh, the seat there and it's sort of this is more of an angle how we saw it in the movie I've still got to put the uh, there's a wee tiny clock which goes like right here sits on the dashboard uh, I've got to add that I just remembered um, I just wanted to do this really quick update just so that uh, my buddy Greg over at stevethefish.net could uh, uh, see what I've done so far. Maybe he could take a few ideas or leave a few, who knows. Uh, uh, yeah, so next up I think I'll be working on the, the engine here and yeah, I'm kind of not, I mean, if, for those of you following along at home, I'm not actually following the instructions. Well, I am following the instructions, but I'm not doing it in the specific order that I should be doing them, or that the instructions tell me to anyway. I'm kind of a bit all over the place, but I just wanted to get the interior done.